Hi, welcome to the video on matter and its properties. So what are properties in chemistry is the first question. Uh, a property is a characteristic belonging to a substance or a sample of matter. Now there are two types of properties. There are physical properties, so it could be observed without changing, um, and chemical observed by changing. Remember I said in the previous video, video that when you see chemical change, chemical separation, chemical properties, chemical implies that there is some sort of change happening there. Whereas physical, it's you can observe it without changing or it occurs without changing the substance. So let's look at some physical properties. These are all examples of physical properties. If you wanna pause the video and sort of read through the list, go ahead and do so. So these are all examples of physical properties because you can observe them without changing it. So for example, if you look at something and you see the color that it is, you're not changing the substance to, to observe that. Um, if you wanted to test whether something was brittle or malleable, so that means like if for malleable, if you if you hit it with a hammer, it's gonna dent, it won't break apart, and brittle will like break apart or crumble. You can go ahead and do that. You can smash it with a hammer, and even if it breaks apart, it's still going to be the same substance. It's just gonna be broken into little bits, okay? Um, so these are all examples of physical properties because they're observed without changes. On the other hand, chemical properties, like the ones you see here, um, they occur via a, a chemical reaction. And in order to observe them, the chemical reaction must take place. So reactivity, acidity, flammability, toxicity, those are all examples of chemical properties of matter. Now, in addition to chemical versus physical, there's also another type of property, intensive versus extensive. So an intensive property, also known as as an intrinsic property is a property that is independent of the amount of the substance and thus is inherent, uh, an inherent part of the substance. So uh, let's say, for example, boiling point. Boiling point is the temperature at which something boils. So if you take something like water under normal atmospheric pressure, so one atmosphere, water will boil at 100 degrees Celsius. That's inherent to water. It's not going to change no matter how much water you have, whether you have a large amount or a little amount. Um, on the other hand, an extensive uh, property, um, and that should say extrinsic, so also known as, um, so extensive, also known as extrinsic property, is a property that is dependent on the amount of a substance. So the volume of something depends on how much you have, how much you, uh, how, the weight or the mass of a substance depends on how much you have. How long something is depends on how much you have. So extensive is not inherent. It can change depending on how much of that uh, substance that you have. So the way that I like to think about intensive or extensive, this is how I remembered it. Intensive begins with the I, N, and so does independent. So these sort of help me to keep track of it. You can also just, just in terms of the word, in, intensive means like within, um, and the word intrinsic means inherent to. So both of those will sort of help to reinforce the idea of what um, an intensive property is versus extensive. So here's a summary of the different types of properties. A property can be a physical property and intensive or physical property and extensive. And so I gave you some examples of those. Likewise, with a chemical property, um, where they can be a chemical property that's intensive or extensive, right? So remember, for um, a physical property, it's observed without change, and an intensive property is inherent. So these are physical properties like color, the melting and boiling point, luster and density. They're not going to change no matter how much of the substance you have, and you can observe it without changing the substance. On the other hand, flammability and reactivity um, is inherent or doesn't change with the amount, but in order to observe it, the substance itself has to change, which makes it a chemical property. All right, so that is it for this video. In the next video, you're going to get into Archimedes Lab, which is um, sort of the lab that you are doing to wrap up this unit. Have a quality day.